Uh, it's good to be back. Hello everybody, my name's James and I'm taking a look at the brand new adventure that's been added free of charge to Lara Croft Go. It's called The Cave of Fire. I'm going to fire it up right now. And uh, it introduces a bunch of new mechanics. I'm only going to show you a couple of the early stages because don't want to ruin everything, obviously. Uh, the full game, when it was originally released, had like 70-something puzzles in it, as I understand it. This game, uh, the added on bit, contains about 27 to 30 just by itself. So you're effectively extending the length of the game by about a third. Now, things like the spear and this little lever over here, you're already familiar with. However, did you see how I killed that snake and then the snake came back? Now watch this. Lob a spear at him, snake goes down. As I start to move, you'll notice a line appears next to the snake. If I move again, the rest of the line starts to appear. I jump again, another one, and one more time. Bam, the snake is back. There is a full resurrection mechanic in this game. I can kill it again. Bam. But every time, it's going to keep coming back and killing me. This is a new problem you have to deal with in the game. So, for example, here... If I kill this guy, I think, right, I'll head off down, flip this switch, but no, because as I do this, it's drawing itself. And if I were to go down all the way, flip the switch, and then come back up again, it would just munch me hard like that. And that will be the end of my adventure. So you've got to start thinking a little bit more carefully and plan quite far ahead if you want to survive. So if I just flick through here real quick, kill this dude, kill, 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 grab my spear, flick my switch... Take out this guy, and then jobs are good and splendid. Now, we can start working with the pillar that is up here. I should say that I went and visited Square Enix Montreal last week, so I saw this all a week ago. Unfortunately, the footage that I gathered off of them uh, didn't have any sound, so I waited for it to go live. I'm grabbing it immediately. It's quite late. It's about one o'clock in the morning here, hence why I sound a bit dopey. Now, I've got this arrow over the snake so I can drag the pillar across. I'm going to drag it on top of the snake. What that means is when it tries to revive, you can see the pillar's crushed it. Can't move, can't do anything. So I can safely come down here, flick the switch, get that thing out of the way, head back up, make my way to the exit without any concerns. Another win for Lara Croft there. Uh, this wasn't originally conceived, apparently, uh, with the whole game. This was literally an add-on that came in response to fans going, could we have some more of the Lara Croft, please? Uh, and so they went ahead and did it. The reception was obviously very strong for it in the same way that it was pretty strong for Hitman Go uh, as well when it came out. It won a bunch of critical acclaim and all of that. So let me just shoot this dude and back over here. Now, I can drag it across, drag it across again. That's lovely. Now, as I've stepped on there, we're familiar with the uh, weakened floor mechanic. I can go down here. I can now execute this snake. Boom. That's great. Come back around here. And then hopefully I can push that over there. Bam. It now falls through and gives me the ability to walk around if I want to. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much more of this because I don't want to spoil it, like I said. But look forward to about 27, 26 more missions to go. It picks up immediately where the last game leaves off by the way. So you want to be careful about the fact that it's going to be tough from the beginning. If you're not going to walk in and find yourself... There we go. It's going to fear the fire. You're not going to be able to walk in and just waltz your way through it. You need to know how to play the game in the first place or bad things will happen to you. Bad things like that. We hope this won't be the end of it. We hope they'll make more updates in the future. But in the meantime, you can download this for free now for your iPhone and your iPad. It won't cost you anything extra and it will extend the game by quite a way. So, muzzle tough. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.